Hello guys, Shubham here back again. So this video is about the newest update which is rolled out by the CRDroid community. So in this update, we are going to cover the version 9.5 of the CRDroid running on Android 13. Till this video gets rolled out by then, I guess CRDroid will be ready with its new build that is the version 9.6 as a weekly update. But many of the users already know that they don't come up with some huge update which is actually visible on the front end. So introducing the version 9.5 of CRDroid or better say as the latest version of the CRDroid running on Android 13. So without any further ado, let's get into it and see what this update actually holds. So as usual at the very first time let's move into the system information so navigating in the settings you will see in the about phone section that this is running on the latest build of the cr droid of version 9.5 and all the other information including the kernel version the release date and also the security patch which is the latest one and also the android 13 easter egg that's pretty much obvious Now moving further, let's talk about the CRDroid customizations. So as I mentioned before, CRDroid doesn't make such huge update or any such huge change with respect to some of the settings. One of the main settings is the CRDroid setting that is the customization. You will get the same type of customization section where you will get the scrollable type of user interface and a list view from which you can select all the options you want. And Maybe sometimes they just include one or two options in this customization section only in the list view where you can just select and experience the new feel. But most of the time they don't include much of the customization and that's really how much the CR Droid updates work. So talking about the customization section then you will get all the type of customization in this build too and everything works perfectly fine. Advanced Report option in Power Menu and all the other stuffs work perfectly good and you won't face any type of issue. With respect to theming, display settings, ambient display and everything else works perfectly fine. So this is the ambient display and it looks good. Going further you will get all the other type of setting to select from and you won't face any type of issues with respect to it. You will also have something called as rules and also the miscellaneous section about which we will going to talk later in this video. So that's what all about the CR droid settings and this scrollable and the list view type of UI which they always include in all of the customization from Android 10 which works pretty much fine. Moving further and talking about the Android 13 specific settings then you will get settings such as the deemed icons which is always in beta mode and to select the wallpaper from the use selection or maybe custom wallpaper of your choice. Talking about the widgets then you will get all type of widgets as you know the famous clock widget which you usually get in android 13 and also all the other widgets you just have to drag and drop on your desktop and select the theme which you want and you are good to go. So that's all about the C Android customizations and also include the Android 13 specific based features. All the other stuff with respect to the small small animations regarding the volume panel and also the caption and all the other stuff works perfectly fine. So C Android makes sure that in every update they won't break the consistency of their customization and that's pretty good. Now moving further, let's talk about the gaming performance on this ROM. So on this ROM moving toward the settings, in the CR Droid settings you will get the miscellaneous which I was talking about in the CR Droid customizations. Inside this you will get options such as the game space which you usually get in all the Android 13 sections of customization. In my case I have added the BGMI mobile and also have select the performance as a preferred mode. And also you will get other options such as unlock higher fps in game and also some other options such as netflix spoof which will help you to use netflix on your device without using vpn or anything such and also higher and unlock unlimited photos such as storage and all that is something bonus which you usually get in miscellaneous 
So coming back to the gaming performance, here is the BGMI mobile which I have installed in my phone. So here comes the BGMI and also on the extreme top right side you will get all the options from the game space which you can toggle in between of the game. So now let's jump into the gameplay itself. So this is BGMI mobile, I am playing on full setting which are available in this ROM and you can see that you, I am not able to see any type of stutter or lag while playing BGMI. The gameplay was pretty much smooth and I was not able to see any type of frame drops including on the extreme right side on top side you will see that from the game space you can also see the FPS counter. So in my perspective as usual Seattle has maintained the name in terms of gaming performance it works pretty much good, you won't face any type of issue with respect to gaming performance. Now next up is about the battery performance. So talking about the battery performance then you guys already know that it's see Android you will get some decent amount of battery performance that is once charged to 100% you can go all day along with this phone and you will get about 6 to 7 hours of screen on time if you are a normal user but on the other side you are a person who also plays some games with higher fps then c android will last you about 3 to 4 hours of screen on time so again the battery performance is they have maintained is kind of decent and that's pretty much good with such old phone and also android 13 installed so that's impressive now let's talk about the safety net check or better called as cts bypass so this is a safety net check application clicking on it when I click on the turn test you will see that the safety net check gets bypassed out of the box that means you can use all your payment and finance applications without explicitly flashing the magic zip and routing your ROM so that's something really good that Android 13 is coming with the safety net check bypass that you can use all your payment applications and you won't find any type of issues that's something really nice now let's snap some photos that is the CR droid or the Gcam compatibility. So talk about the photography section then you will get this stock or kind of boring camera which though records in 60fps 4k but still you won't get any type of features on any extravagant things in this camera and you guys already know by the appearance what camera it is but no issues as you, you can flash the Gcam of your choice and you are good to go to use that Gcam without any issues. In my opinion this is the Gcam 8.7 which I am using and this Gcam works perfectly fine and also shoots the 4K 60fps video. So 4K 60fps is all we want and most of the users we want the 4K 60fps recording and that is sufficed by the Gcam itself. So including that you will get all the other options recording 60 fps in 4k and also 24 and auto in fhd and also 4k so that's something pretty much nice so you can use gcam in this rom and you won't face any type of issue with it the typical zoom and also all the other option works pretty much fine and also some options such as social share and everything else was pretty much good so you won't face any type of issue with it talking about the slow motion then again slow mo and some other stuff do have some bugs in it as they don't allow us to record in some resolutions but that's something totally fine as we don't use much of the slow-mo and all such modes we mostly prefer some settings which are applicable to photography and also the normal video shooting and that's pretty much good talking about the advanced setting then you can enable all the other advanced settings such as the HDR, RAW plus JPEG and all the other stuff which works pretty much fine and you won't face any issues with respect to that. So in my opinion the ROM which actually supports the Gcam and also which have the MI UI camera installed in it is the ROM which something actually loved by and that ROM is something which is good in terms of photography. So that is my opinion I don't know if this opinion might differ from person to person but that's what it is. So yes coming back to the photography section then Gcam works on this ROM again with this update and you won't face any type of issues with respect to that. And that's something really good and in photography section you won't face any type of issues. So that's something really nice. Now let's talk about the security features and the direct sound enhancer. 
So in this ROM with respect to security you will get all the features including the face unlock and all the other Google Play protect settings with respect to security and privacy. And in this ROM you will get the IR face unlock like you usually get in all the other Android 13 ROMs. C Android and all the other ROMs are maintaining this thing or they don't make any changes with respect to the IR face unlock. Also the fingerprint unlock works pretty much fine and you won't face any type of issue until and unless your hands are kind of slippy, wet or oily. So that is a prerequisite. With respect to direct sound in answer or the me sound in answer then you will get direct sound in answer. You can just set your enabled or your preferred mode and also the device and you are good to go to have some thumping and realistic music experience. So that's something really nice. Now let's talk about some numbers and one of my most unfavorite part that is the Andudu scores. So again as you can see on the screen this Andudu scores is not really believable on the negative note because again I don't know why but Andudu benchmark is not something which can convince me enough because it's a C Android ROM and talking about the performance and when you see this score then you won't believe that this score is for the C Android. So in my opinion, I don't believe much on these numbers, but yes, those who really want to see numbers, this is the answer to scores and this is all about it. Now it's time to jump on the conclusion that is my final words. So let me tell you very honestly, C Android do rolls out update weekly and also they include some performance upgrade which actually works at the back end but it's not actually visible on the front end such as including some new feature or any customization or any kind of change with respect to UI. So in my opinion most of the builds from CR Droid are actually kind of same even if you wonder that uh, the new release have been rolled out and what they might have bought something new. With respect to that you actually have to test this ROM in depth such as uh, looking at the CPU throttling and all the other stuff because they actually include the updates which works at the back end with respect to performance and you get to know that eventually as you use the ROM each day. But still in my opinion as usual C Android is the evergreen ROM if you want to use it as a daily driver and again with this update irrespective of 9.5 or 9.6 you can actually use it as a daily driver and you won't face any type of issue. So that's it for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such updates upcoming. Until then see you guys again in the next one. Till then peace out.